Hey, this is Dan Levy, National Lead Writer for Bleach Report. We came up with a pretty cool idea in the office. What would happen if the U.S. national team played in the English Premier League? And with the help of EA Sports FIFA 13, we're going to do it. The cool thing is if you go into FIFA 13, you can create your own tournament. If you go to load tournament, you can replace any team with any team. We took Reading out of the EPL, put in the U.S. national team. And if you look at the roster right here, they had the old roster from the previous World Cup qualifiers. We took Jose Torres off the roster and put him in the... Uh, reserves. I put Graham Zussi in. If you see here, I was deciding between Danny Williams or Zussi. I ended up with Graham Zussi because I think it's a better option. But if you look later, the computer put Torres back in. We'll show you that later. What I did was I just set the EPL season for this year. The U.S. national team played Reading schedule. I simulated the whole thing. And as you watch through, if you look at the top right, you see the U.S. national team jumps up to second place for a while. After 10 games, there are 16 games. They're in second place. It's pretty impressive. And then things start to fall. They go to fifth place about halfway through the season. They drop down to seventh almost towards the end. They end up in seventh place. And if you notice here, Carlos Tevez from Manchester City, Joe Hart, both named player and goalkeeper of the season. Clint Dempsey wins the golden boot for sharpshooter, but it's interesting because if you look into the stats, well, first let's go to the results. You see here, uh, the United States finishes seventh, 16 wins, 11 draws, 11 losses, but their goal differential, 20 more goals than they gave up, which is incredible. I did a, another simulation before this just to test it and they ended up about even. If you go to the scoring results, Dempsey's up at top score, but the, the glitch in FIFA is if you put a player on two teams, Dempsey was on the national team and on Tottenham, they combined the stats for him. So if you look at both his goals and his assists, he was up at the top. But if you did notice, same thing with Tim Howard and Everton and the US national team, Josie Altador was high up on the list in goals. Hercules Gomez, as you see here, was high up in assists. 10 assists and 7 goals. In all the simulations that I did, Hercules Gomez was very competitive in the English Premier League. It could be interesting. But if you look, as I mentioned earlier, Jose Torres played 37 of the 38 games. Kyle Beckerman only played 1. Bradley played most of them. Maurice Adu, who's in the EPL, 0. Cameron, who's a starter on the national team per FIFA's roster, only played in a few games and was replaced by Clarence Goodson, was replaced by some other defenders. Zussi, who I put in the starting lineup, only played six games. And if you notice there, as I'm highlighting, Dempsey had 12 goals of his total for the national team. All the other goals came for Spurs. There's Goodson playing most of the matches. So even though the roster was set by FIFA, that's not necessarily what the computer put through. If you notice back at the top, Josie Altador, I think we'll scan to that in a second. Josie Altador played in most of the games. I believe every game, 11 goals, four assists. Clearly, FIFA 13 disagrees with Jurgen Klinsmann's decision to keep Altidore off of the U.S. Cup uh, World Cup qualifiers right now. But it's interesting to see how many played. Tim Howard played almost every match, which you would expect. Terrence Boyd played in 22 matches. Landon Donovan, not great stats overall. Solid, but not spectacular if you go down to the, to the stats. And the interesting thing you have to look at is the team chemistry. The U.S. finished in 7th, but look at QPR. They finished in ninth. They have talent, but they have no chemistry right now. So it'll be interesting to see... If a team wanted to try a great experiment, put all these players together and see what happens in one of the toughest leagues in the world.